Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with Germany. So here in the beginning, you're going to notice uh, that I have set up our armies a little bit, made some adjustments here, uh, created a new theater for the colony since we did have, uh, you know, five divisions here for, you know, the most that could fit under one field marshal. So we need to get another field marshal going. I uh, went ahead and changed up some colors. Just, you know, it's the same old armies. I didn't create any new armies or anything like that. I just changed some of the colors up and changed up some of the generals also moved some troops around based on uh, uh their composition so more mountain troops over here to czechoslovakia uh you know and i guess we'll talk about this here in a minute uh, so first of all manstein is still going to be in control of the red army uh the orange army over here we now put heinz in control uh and so thus i've given them more tanks so you're going to see tanks move in from from over here to over here uh, so they have a bit more tanks and hopefully they'll be able to break through here and push towards Warsaw. Uh, and then this army here, we have uh, Erwin von Wittelsben in control. Uh, and he has, I want to say he has some decent traits or maybe he was just a higher level. Oh, you know what? I think I picked him based on his attack, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just take a look here. I know there was a reason why I placed him. Uh, he's got the infantry officer. Uh, and then, yeah, he has that high attack, the four attack. So uh, we've got him in control of the kind of light blue army over here. This is, of course, the French defense. I uh, put him in control there because of his high defense. Uh, and then the uh, purple army, uh, which is over here on the Czech border, uh, is in control of Max, uh, Maximilian von uh, Weiss. Weiss? Weiss? <laughs> Probably fucking all these names up. Uh, but, yeah, this is, this is the... Uh, the current uh, European army. I did change it to field, field marshal as well. And the reason why I switched these, and, and field marshals don't have that large of an effect on units, they're not like generals, uh, but you know they do affect more units of course, is, is mainly just because the base uh, stats here uh, with the uh, higher supply uh, ability. I think he'd be better in the colonies. Uh, and then of course over here, you know, we have the, the higher uh, planning speed and max planning. Uh, so. It's, it's not a big difference. The traits are slightly different as well. The max entrenchment's gonna be really really nice for some of these areas, I think. Uh, so, uh, and we can always go ahead and get the charismatic on him as well once he gets uh, a level up, uh, which he should hopefully have soon because this is where most of the fighting is gonna be. Uh, so over here in the colonial armies, uh, just kind of show you, we've got these guys set up here. Uh, got these guys set up over here. We do still have to train all these, of course. We'll be doing that a little bit later. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we we still need to assign a field marshal here. I haven't done that yet, so let's go ahead and assign one. And we will do... I think we're going to do Carl... Uh, God damn. <laughs> Carl Egelseer. Uh, God, I'm terrible with pronunciation, guys. But he's got some really interesting general traits. Uh, these are not field marshal traits. These are general traits. Uh, so, so yeah, I think he'll he'll be interesting. Uh, he's not quite as good as the other field marshal stat wise, but having those on a field marshal is uh, yeah, that's interesting. I, I like that. So we'll, we'll try him out over there and try and get him leveled up a bit. Maybe increase some of his base skills uh, in the uh, you know the volunteer conflict over here. So before we we get started, let's go ahead and show you that I named the mountain troops. We're not going to name these ones because we're going to get rid of these guys as soon as we can, as soon as we're capable, uh, able to. Uh, and then the, because yeah, I don't think we can actually train. Oh, we can train, so we're under the cap. So we might want to go ahead and look at, at switching some of our divisions over to uh, this one, which is the, the one that's slightly better, the one that we got from Austria. And we're going to name them the uh, Edelweiss, if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, and, and that's so that we don't have to pronounce the full name down here. Uh, and that's the name of the flower uh, that they used to get up off the top of the mountains and kind of marked them as like an elite unit. Uh, so several people suggested that, and like three people suggested this name. I only know about it from Band of Brothers. <laughs> it was in one of the Band of Brothers episode. Uh, so that's the only place I know it from. Uh, but yeah, that was a good show. I don't know if you've seen that on HBO. Fantastic. It's a little bit old now, but really, really great show. Uh, so yeah, I think that's it. Oh, the uh, submarines. Uh, so we named the submarines Alpha Wolves, you know, based on the whole Sea Wolves thing. Uh, that was a suggestion. So, so yeah. I think that's I think that's it now. Uh, so now let's go ahead and jump into it. Get started. Uh, we uh, left off hoping to annex these guys. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't do it. Somebody and, and nobody else seemed to really know precisely what the problem could be. So somebody thought maybe it's a decimal, and it only shows that we need zero to demote to that level. When actually we need like 0.2 power or something like that to demote them, uh, and it's just not showing the decimal because I don't think uh, it's programmed to show decimals. So maybe that's the case. 
And if we built one more thing, then we could get it done. They also just suggested maybe even a little bit of equipment, but given equipment takes a month. Well, if we've just built the easiest thing to build here, a like level one coastal fort, it's only 500 uh, production here and we can get it done in like a week. Yeah, it's, it's about a week there, less than a week. Uh, so it's actually quickest to build the fort uh, than to give them, you know, some, a little bit of infantry equipment or whatever. So we'll do that and see if that ticks it over. Uh, also, somebody suggested the fact that I, I hadn't asked if we could give these guys some planes. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and send air volunteers. I'm sure they'll accept and want to send them, uh, you know, 150, 200 planes or whatever it is. Uh, I was pretty worried about the situation over here with the Civil War because it's not looking good. The loyalists, loyalists look like they're having some issues. However, if we look at this here, guys, uh, in the current war, the Constitutionalists are 46% towards capitulation because we just took Washington, D.C. And we're about to take a bunch of other victory points, too. We're going to take Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Columbus. Uh, we'll probably take uh, Chicago up here as well. Uh, 30 victory points uh, and they are technically once we we cut them off right here uh, I, I don't know how this is gonna work because the capital hasn't been replaced so i guess we'll have to see where the capital goes okay so capital has been replaced it's over here in los angeles now okay uh so yeah it, we won't be able to cut them off from supply by cutting off the northeast uh but we're taking key victory points and i, I don't know if that's gonna be enough to beat them but it might uh so that's what we're gonna work on taking these victory points over here getting these troops wrapped up and and hopefully the loyalists can hold out over here because i'm not sending too many troops over there right now uh, so that situation is pretty bad overall uh, and then i i want to say that we are good to go we're gonna be assigning the next uh factories to get to to planes when you start getting the air force building uh also starting to look a lot better on on many of these uh many of the equipment that we are lacking on uh we're still lacking support equipment i guess we can go and build a couple more divisions one more division i suppose one more infantry division and that looks good uh, let's go ahead and change up those those divisions as many as as many of them as we can anyways and take just a couple of them and see if they'll let me i don't know how many we can you know what? let's take them all and see if it'll let me it should let me do this now uh change them all up yeah okay excellent so go ahead and change uh change all these guys uh any ones that we have available i want to say that there's one into the red army right now that we'll have to change up i want to say this is the only one yes and we will change all these up so the problem here was not that they because we were at the limit and it wasn't and what was confusing me was why that would even affect it because we're not actually adding any new uh special forces battalions in there so it shouldn't affect whether or not we can do it uh but what i wasn't aware of is that apparently i think we just switched all these up didn't we yeah i think we did all these ones uh, but I, what i wasn't aware of is if you are under the limit uh then it does lock you from even being able to to change them up uh, even if it wouldn't actually increase the amount of special forces your unit uh, y you were using, uh, it still locks it, unfortunately. So that's the, r the problem with that. That's why we weren't able to do it. So we should now be able to get rid of this division. Excellent. Let's go ahead and do that now. And yeah, we're pretty squared away at this point, I think. I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and get started over here in the conflict uh, in the Americas. All right, so uh, they should accept. There we go. And then we're going to send them. Let's see how many planes we can send them. Uh, we can send them 359. Okay, that's that's a large number of planes compared to what we've been able to send uh, in the last couple of conflicts. So we're still training up these guys here. Let's just send some of the, the planes that we have sitting here. We have uh, close air support. Let's send uh, like 100 and I don't know how many planes these guys have. I guess I should take a look. And see what we're what we're facing right now as far as planes go. All right, so it doesn't seem the Constitutionalists have a much much uh, higher number of of planes than the Loyalists do, unfortunately. So we're probably going to want to mostly bring fighters, I would assume. You know, like 200 fighters uh, is what we're going to want to bring with. Like, yeah, just 100 close air support is fine. Uh, that'll put us at 300. Uh, I guess we could always bring another 50 close air support, but you know what? This is this is good to go, guys. And then we're fighting up here, uh, so let's bring them here. And get them assigned. And there we go. Uh, we will also go ahead and do more ground crews. Oops. Good damn it. Damn you. I canceled them. Didn't mean to do that, guys. Uh, and more ground crews. There we go. Okay. So we are attacking here. That wasn't actually intended. Let's go and pull that back then. We'll cut them off. Uh, they are trying to take Baltimore back. I was hoping they'd come down here so that we could destroy them easily, but now they're going to be on the river, so that's a shame. Uh, going up to get Pittsburgh there. These tanks are coming up this way. We don't actually need them to do that. Instead, let's have them uh, beeline towards... Let's have them beeline towards Columbus. 
Well, this division here goes towards Pittsburgh and then Cleveland. I'll, in fact, let's just go ahead and have them do that next. Or we can have them go to Pittsburgh. Or excuse me, uh, Buffalo. Uh, so we'll do that. Let's have these guys go to Columbus and then to Cleveland. And then they'll march up to Detroit. While this unit is going all the way up to Chicago. Uh, of course, we got this guy here. We're going to go ahead and cut these guys off uh, and get them destroyed. Let's try to just work on cutting divisions off. It's really easy to cut the AI off. Uh, on these large fronts so they can't really uh, man the whole thing. Uh, and that's what we're seeing with the Loyalists too. They're getting tons of divisions cut off uh, because of that exact same reason. All right, so with the, the air support, uh, I, I think this should kind of make this go a little bit quicker for us. Oh, we need to get going. All right, let's try and cut these guys off. Go all the way around them. We'll cut them off and then we'll destroy them. Uh, maybe let them take a little bit of attrition before we do so. There we go. All right, so that was the problem. It was like some kind of... Uh, uh, decimal or whatever so a lot of people wanted me to first build troops uh, with their manpower and I've kind of been on the fence on this a little bit I think I mentioned it in last episode that it's something that we could do and I was kind of waffling with it as you know we we're annexing them uh, and of course using their manpower to build troops we would have then built it to even if those those divisions are garbage we could then use them to make uh, as soon as we uh, you know, switched as soon as we annexed them, we can then switch them over to our own division designs using that, that manpower that's already in them, the equipment that's already in them, or we could have used them to uh, just just get rid of them and just have the manpower go straight to our our manpower stockpile here. Uh, but the problem with that is, is I feel that it's overpowered. Uh, I, that's why I don't use it. I just feel like it's. I know it's a game mechanic, so it's not cheating to use it. But good God, it's so powerful uh, using the manpower of your. Of your puppets that's why i don't use it especially as the british i don't use it that often because it just feels too powerful uh, and it's one thing using it as, as the dutch which we used extensively uh, it's another thing using it as as a german reich so so yeah that's the reason why i wasn't building them guys it just feels kind of like i don't know a little bit cheaty in a way it's not cheaty and that's not the right terms uh but yeah i just i just didn't want to really that's what it comes down to it just feels uh too easy so we already got their, their divisions that they had built for us. We've annexed all this territory, just massive amounts of territory. Uh, that does mean that we're not going to need to trade, perhaps, for some of the resources we're trading for. I don't actually know what we're trading for. It uh, doesn't look like. We might need to let it register for a second. Let's just let it play, and then let's take a look at it again. Yeah, we no longer need to trade for any of this rubber, of course. And that'll give us three more civilian factories. Uh, we also have some free dockyards uh, that we can get assigned. Uh, so let's go and do that, and military factories for that matter. We'll do the military factories first, because I want to go ahead and start getting more planes going. Uh, we need more fighters, more close air support, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, and we also have dockyards. We've already got the submarines completely filled out. Uh, we've got five going towards convoys. We really don't have very many convoys. We really need a lot more. So let's build more convoys before we go with any other planes right now, guys, because I really feel like we need to get those convoys built up. So all these uh, divisions here... They're going to be all crappy designs. Let's just go ahead and get rid of all their designs that we're not using. Uh, okay, yeah, these, this is going to be all of these. And then what we'll do is we'll just change them over to our own uh, division designs, I think. Yeah, to the own, our own little 20 width designs. It's going to cost some uh, equipment and manpower and stuff, but that's okay. I'll just make sure we take all the ones available here, switch them up to the Pussy Pouncers. All right, so those are now switched up. They're going to have to go back into... They're probably all going to have to go into a training army, yeah. Let's go and make sure they're all in a training army here and get them them training up. Uh, do we want to cover this area? I suppose we will this time. I didn't in the Dutch one, but I guess we will this time. Uh, we'll cover this and attempt to, to fight them here. Uh, maybe try and get that Australian territory taken back over. Let's go and move these guys over here. Those guys are right there. All right, that's looking pretty good for right now. Uh, and then these guys here... I think that this is probably a, a lot that we'll have on this front here. Yeah, I don't think... You know what? Ten divisions is fine. All right, so that's looking good. And I want to say there's nothing else we need to do over here. Got those guys training up. All right, so that looks pretty squared away. Uh, and we've got them annexed, so that's awesome. Uh, another person wanted me to help out in Mexico. I feel like I'm doing too much talking right now, probably 15 minutes into the video. <laughs> Almost 15 minutes anyway. And... uh haven't played much. Uh, so sorry about that. We'll, we'll get this going here, guys. I'm just trying to address all the comments for the last two videos. Uh, so uh, somebody said to, to help out the fascists here in Metsco. I don't want to do that because I don't actually want the fascists to win. Uh, I would prefer they don't. I don't really like uh, the Mexican fascist uh, focus tree when it's, when it's either allied with you or not uh, because it gears them towards uh, conquering Central and South America, which is actually a bad thing. Even if they're not in your faction, 
they still conquer this this territory and they go to war with all these guys and then they these guys all get pulled into the allies and we have to fight them uh, the problem with that of course is that then america focuses solely on central and south america and they don't help anywhere else first of all secondly they lose an insane number of troops here because of the shitty terrain uh, and they, they just take a lot of a lot of, a lot of attrition and it just doesn't go well guys uh, I, I don't like it at all uh, I don't like the way Metsco pulls all these people into them so I don't want them to win I prefer that the, the fascists lose over there so that's uh, why we're doing it that way all right so uh, let's go ahead and destroy these guys uh, attack across the river and try and get them destroyed uh, we do have to get these guys wiped out as well uh, which is kind of a bummer because it looks like they're gonna reconnect them here uh, can we beat them two days and two hours 13 hours, yeah. So we'll let them attack across the river, but yeah, this is kind of a problem here. Uh, so I, I guess we'll go ahead and continue right, awesome. what we're doing right now, but yeah, this is it's kind of starting to look, you know what? No, no, no. Let's change this up a little bit. Let's thicken this up here. This tank is, is vulnerable. Uh, let's make smarter decisions. We do have Chicago in our hands. Let's go and grab Milwaukee up and let's take a look and see where we're at on getting these guys defeated. Uh, they're currently 62%. Okay, I don't know if we'll be able to do this without conquering California, but I'm, I'm hoping, hoping that we can. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these guys cut off here. Or try to anyways. This is what we have over here. We don't have a lot of a lot of troops, so we just kind of got to make use of ones that we have. Uh, and then with these guys, um, well, we're done taking Buffalo. So let's go ahead and, and come up behind these guys here. See if we can't uh, cut all of them off from, from this territory. Uh, and then take the, it, these guys to come help out, destroying them. Uh, and damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah, this is kind of getting mucked up here. Uh, so let's go this way then, so that if they come over here, they won't be reconnected for very long anyways. And then we're gonna take these guys and have them wipe that division out. All right, so now they're attacking across the river here. Once again, just trying to connect there, which we're not gonna let them. Sorry about the vehicles, guys. It is that time, unfortunately. All right, so looks like they, they stopped what they're doing, which is kind of silly on their part. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and try and wipe this division out now. In fact, let's go this way and then wipe them out so we can grab that uh, air base in case we want to use it. Uh, and then these guys here are gonna get right there just in time, hopefully. They could easily cut us off if they wanted to, but uh, hopefully that doesn't end up working out for them. Let's go ahead and move up to here. In fact, let's take the railroads up to there. And we'll attack across the river if need be, but we might not have to do that. All right, let's take a look at what these guys are doing. They just took Milwaukee. Uh, and Detroit is probably the next goal. Uh, so let's, And this would also let us thicken this up. We're about to be cut off right now, actually. All right, well, that's fine. We'll come up this way and come up behind them. They can get that one troop over to that side if they want. All right, so we just need to attack here to cut that division off. Uh, so they'll be able to get destroyed. Hopefully our allies will take care of that. And then we'll take care of destroying these guys here. In fact, it'd probably be better and quicker if we just went around and then attacked them. Because otherwise, they're just going to retreat there and we got to fight them two times. Which is not desirable. All right, so they are attacking the tank there. The tank still has supply, so it's fine. Uh, one of the American divisions is protecting Pittsburgh, uh, which is awesome. And I think... Let's go ahead and have... This guy get here, see if he can get there before him. Yeah, oh yeah, he's definitely gonna beat him. And then we're gonna have this guy here come up around here. Although I think that's actually where that guy's going. Yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and go this way instead. I'm just trying to get all these guys cut off so we can get them destroyed. Uh, slowly but surely, guys. So uh, they are still attempting to get there. We might actually be able to beat them, make them fight us. I don't know, let's take a look. Our divisions are stupidly fast now. Uh, and this is what I'm talking about, how freaking overpowered the speed is, guys. I mean, we're doing nothing but speed bonuses, and, and you can see just how ridiculously fast our troops move. Uh, so I think these guys are destroyed, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go and ramp that up to make sure. Uh, but yeah, I want to say that they've, they've been wiped out, because I can't see them there. Uh, but just in case they haven't been, uh, we'll go ahead and make sure that we uh, go down there and, and confirm. Uh, so uh, these guys are now moving over this way. Let's go ahead and go up here now. Have them uh, take that territory there so they can't reconnect. Uh, let's go ahead and have this tank attack right here. This guy goes over this way. And then we're gonna wipe all these guys out here. And taking all that territory, every little province does help uh, towards getting them defeated. All right. Yeah, looking pretty good. And yeah, these guys are conquering up this way. Uh, that division's holding out so that they can't reconnect here, which is good. Uh, so they're helping us out. Let's go and put these guys up this way. 
Let's see what these divisions over here are doing. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anybody here. I'm gonna go ahead and help him. It uh, looks like he's going that way, so we only need to go this way. Uh, so once he finishes up, we'll move him up up here uh, to try and help out the division, because clearly he's having some issues on his own. We need to thicken this up a bit, get a bit of girth. Uh, it's got the length. You gotta have both length and girth, as I always say. Uh, and then we're gonna have this division here. I think, let's just have him start wiping out, helping out with these divisions. We've got plenty enough. Two divisions here is plenty enough to deal with uh, the three divisions that are here, I feel. Uh, and actually, we have one more here. I didn't even remember about this guy. All right, uh, so you know what this guy could be doing instead? Because I feel like we have enough here. He can go ahead and start racing towards Cleveland to try and get that victory point. And remember, when we do that, we are giving military factories and civilian factories to the loyalists, taking it from the constitutionalists, so it's it's quite helpful. Uh, let's take a look and see how our troops are doing on training. Okay, that's right. We're not even training any right now because, yeah, we're still trying to get these guys built out. All right, well, that's fine. Uh, we do have our planes here as well. I don't know how well they're covering. Yeah, they're, they can cover it for the most part. Okay, let's go ahead and have these guys attack up this way. In fact, let's go this way first. So we can push them back, get those guys destroyed. I'm sure they f they're facing much heavier casualties now. I wouldn't be surprised if it's starting to even out a little bit. Because uh, the last time we looked, the uh, you know they had lost like the loyalists had lost like seventy something thousand, while the uh, constitutionalists only lost like a thousand. Uh, I guess we can take a look at those casualties real quick. That will take but a second if I can click on this. Yeah, twenty five thousand to one hundred and fifteen. They still lost. Yeah, they're losing insane numbers because uh, they're getting. Uh, you know destroyed here somebody had said I should give them equipment and I just felt like they, that would be an absolute waste We don't even need to build this anymore, but we'll go ahead and finish it, huh? I said it was gonna be done by December strange. Did I not take that up to the top? I think I didn't I think I kept it down here in the bottom So it was pointless. Oh lord. That was so no cuz it wouldn't be up here. Did I build more than one? Yeah, I don't know what the hell I did there. Let me just take a look. Well, that is weird. Yeah, I don't know. I said it was going to be done by December, and I thought that was the reason why we were able to annex them. Clearly not. All right, well, oops, I'm building all kinds of crazy shit over here. I don't know what happened there, guys. Couldn't give you an answer. I suppose it's fine. We won't worry too much about it. Uh, so, yeah, we did get the, the uh, radar stations. We could get some more in, in Asia, or get a few in Asia, because I don't think we've done that yet. But we're just going to build more military factories. That's really what we need right now. Uh, we need to get this Air Force going. And we just don't have the number of military factories that we need. All right, so let's build more of them. Uh, and we have plenty of resources as well, uh, so that's not an issue. Uh, so there's no reason to, to not really start committing ourselves to getting as many military factories as we can. Let's go and bring these guys over here so they can help out there. Uh, and then maybe we'll send one division that way to help out with those guys. Uh, about to get Cleveland into our hands and then we'll go after Columbus. Uh, these guys are still defending here okay. Uh, we need to get this division going uh, over here. Let's see if they can't beat them there actually. Uh, okay, if they can't, what we'll do, pull it back, and then we'll just cut those guys off. Whoops, whoa. We'll cut them off and then destroy them, same way that we did with the last division. This is another uh, area here that would be really easy to cut divisions off. It does look like we're now retreating, unfortunately. They took Chicago back. We didn't send enough support over there for them. That's okay. Uh, that is fine. Let's go ahead and go after Columbus now. And let's destroy those guys. And they're destroying them, and there we go. What we'll do is have them go this way next, help them out. Uh, and then these guys here uh, just need to take that province, and then those those guys are cut off. Though technically, I think they're all cut off right now anyway, but uh, it gets them that, that surrounded penalty, so it's a little bit easier to, to destroy them. All right, so the tanks are done here. Let's go and have them go up this way and go towards Detroit now, since these guys were not able to complete that objective, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, they're in a kind of crappy position. Let's go and take that so we can thicken this up here. And, yeah, that's right. We're trying to get here before them. I don't know if we're going to. It's one day, three hours. We're at, yeah, I don't think we're going to get there before them. And we just attacked somebody. Oh, I didn't see what that, that, that act was. All right. That's a shame. We might be able to beat them now because it looks like they just pull back. Nah, it's, it's, it's unfortunate we can't get there before them. Yeah, they're going to get there in two hours. All right, well, it's fine. You know what? Yeah, it doesn't really matter what I do here. I'll just go across the river then. All right, uh, we'll grab this province next. Let's take a look. Those guys are doing their damn thing. We have finished this up over here. Excellent. What we're gonna do is we're gonna send a tank unit, uh, or actually, you know what? Let's do a motorized. Then we get that speed over here to try and wrap this up a little bit quicker. And uh, we'll send these guys over this way. These guys go this way actually. Uh, let's take a look. Four days. I think we're gonna beat them. Yeah, and then we'll just wipe these these dudes out from that province with both of these divisions here. Let's have these guys go this way. Start picking 
uh, picking apart this territory a bit, uh, getting it so that we can get them to capitulate a little bit sooner. Uh, it looks like the fronts are holding out over here, surprisingly, because there's no divisions here. I think they're focusing on wiping all these divisions out over in this area. Oh, and they also had a division just taking territory in California. That's awesome. That's going well for them. All right. Uh, still trying to get to Detroit, almost there. And then these guys here. Uh, this division here is just about cut off, so let's go ahead and complete that then. Or, or actually, it'd be quicker to do it that way, and then we'll attack them. Get them cut, cut off in supply and, and destroy them. Just slowly destroy the divisions here. Uh, these guys are attempting to... Well, I have no idea what they're doing, because that's not going to reconnect shit. All right, so let's go ahead and have um, this division go this way. And then this guy go this way. And then we've gotten the direct ground support completed. Do we want to go ahead and continue down these? Probably not, because we're in 1939 now. So I think 1939 text should probably be uh, focused on. Yeah, let's go ahead and focus on 1939 text. Probably on our... Let's do construction. Get those industrial techs knocked out here. Still waiting on that guy. There we go. He's taking care of that for us. Let's go ahead and have this guy take this and then come over here so he's got no way to retreat. Uh, let's bring this tank division on over here and start pushing towards... Well, I mean, this guy can actually push towards right. Chicago himself. Have that guy go towards Chicago. Sure. We do need to get another division over here, though, so it's fine. Uh, try and help out here. Uh, in fact, you know what? It'd probably be better to try and cut divisions off. I guess we can go down. Yeah, I suppose that's fine if you go up. You know, it doesn't have to be going up. Yeah, that's all right. We'll go that way. Uh, let's take a look and see how things are going here. Uh, currently, 63% towards capitulation. They still are winning the, the casualty numbers, though. Hopefully, we'll be changing that soon, though. Let's go ahead and have these guys attack this way. All right, so we will be wiping those two divisions out. Still got to get Boston in our hands. That's a lot of victory points as well, uh, though it does look like that's... Okay, yeah, they are the owner of it. All right, wasn't sure on that one. All right, these guys are actually having a lot of difficulty. They cannot win. Surprisingly, yeah, they're not able to win there. All right, we're going to have to get our organization back up. I think we attacked with, with not enough organization, clearly. All right, so these guys are done here. Let's go ahead and have... Oh, Lord, yeah, that's not going to work. Uh, in fact, it looks like they're going to attack us. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and, and go this way and see if we can't come up through Chicago this uh, around here, and then that would also result in us being able to destroy that division. Uh, so we'll see if we can't make that happen. does seem that this is not going to work. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work at all. I guess we'll go over this way. Having a lot of difficulty trying to get this infantry division to do anything, man. All right. Yeah, they're just wiping out division after division over here. It's just a terrible situation uh, on that front where we're not really helping. Uh, so did we finish here? We did, and they've also got Boston in their hands, though there are some troops out in the sea attempting to do a little invasion there. Uh, let's take these guys on the railroads and have them help out over here and we'll attack these guys again and see if that will yeah that's effective now all right so they're they're gonna be easy to cut off now so yeah we'll go up over this way and have them go there oops and then we'll just have these guys defend it's fine all right uh and yeah just again we just have to keep on engaging these guys this is incredibly frustrating man uh, because yeah we keep on attacking wherever they're at which is not what you want to do all right so let's go ahead and go this way now Trying to get these guys cut off if we can. Uh, and, yeah, these guys need to finish this up, and then we'll have them help out there just to get those, you know, just for you know, purposes of trying to get them to capitulate. Chicago's back in our hands. Awesome news. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can't cut some divisions off here uh, by taking that province right there and just kind of beelining down here. Uh, don't know if there's any other key victory points. I don't think so, man. I mean, you can come take some of these, but, yeah, I think we should go this way instead. Uh, if we're looking at trying to get victory points. So yeah, let's go this way. Once again, thicken the, the front up here where we're cutting off tons of divisions in the hope that they won't be able to get out or, or be relieved or whatever. We finally moved here. Excellent. Uh, so we're going to want to attack over this way and see if we can't beat these guys. 18 hours. Can we win uh, to take that? We can. All right. Excellent. So this would cut off all these divisions here uh, with this movement and this movement, and then we'll get those, those divisions wrapped up. All right. And then the tank, once again, is just going to come over this way. And did we finish up with the other division that's over here? No. It's taken them a little bit longer than I expected to. All right. So I know that there's a division. Yeah, there's one right here. We're going to have these guys attack over this way as soon as they get their organization up. And we'll kind of start pushing them. And it looks like they stopped their attack. All right. Awesome. Uh, so, oops. Not bad. 
I mean to click on that. Uh, we do need to move our planes over here. Let's go ahead and go towards that uh, province there. We're going to go and grab this one, start pushing up towards there. Uh, in fact, it'd probably be better to use the infantry for this purpose. Uh, you know what? That's exactly right. Uh, but we do need to thicken this up a little bit. Let's use the tanks here, like so, and that would also allow us to cut that division off, and then use this division for the purpose of uh, separating these two. Alright, so they are trying to reconnect it. That's fine. That's fine. That's why we got it thick. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't think there's any provinces they can take that would reconnect it, uh, which is the reason why we're doing it that way. Alright, and then these guys will cut that division off there. Uh, and then these guys, once they get there, I don't know if they'll be able to beat anybody there. I guess we'll find out one day in three hours. Uh, four days in 17 hours. And three days. So we will beat them there. Alright, so let's go ahead and start attacking over this way. Start pushing them back over here. And, uh, yeah, should be able to get those guys destroyed soon. I'm about to take St. Louis over there. Uh, St. Louis, I should say. Uh, but most people pronounce the St. Louis. But here in the United States, we say St. Louis. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, should uh, get that, and we'll take a look and see how we're doing now. 83%, guys, and the casualties are catching up now as well. Uh, so doing pretty good on that front. Uh, these guys are still training here. I feel like there's something I should be doing that I'm not uh, while I'm messing with the Civil War here. I don't know what it could be, though. Uh, I feel like all of our, our train, our planes, excuse me. I gotta train my, my trains. <laughs> uh, I think I feel like all my planes are are doing well on training. Let's take a look here. Yeah, we're doing good here, getting these guys trained up. These guys are done, so we can go and move them over to here, since we're kind of using this as our training base. See if uh, maybe like another 50 fighters or something, if we can. Yeah, I mean, we could do like uh, inner war fighters. Sure, let's do inner war fighters, train up them. And then we'll also take a look and see if there's any like uh, close air support. Not really, yeah, there's not really enough of those trying to do this kind of even. I mean, technically we could train them with five planes if we wanted to, but I'm trying to, you know, make this uh, as easy as possible to manage. All right, make sure that we don't have any troops over here training because I thought we did. Uh, clearly, yes, it's uh, naval bombers that are currently training in there. Okay, looking good. Uh, let's take a look. We need to get more troops moving over to these fronts, guys. I really feel like there's not enough there. And plus, if we end up going to war with Poland, uh, before uh, this war finishes up, then yeah, we would want to have some divisions we could put into America. So we're defending there. Those guys are cut off, so we'll be able to get them destroyed. They're going to reconnect these guys. Damn it. I didn't think about them coming over from this side. So that's a shame, and I don't really have anybody to fix it except for this guy. I'll see if he can't get over here, but probably not. They're going to get there in 19 hours, but you know what? We can just cut all them off, too. Yeah, we'll just cut them off, too. That's what we'll do. Yeah, we'll come over here and grab that province. And then cut them off so they can reconnect them if they want to. They're going to be part of that problem. Oh, yes. We have this guy as well uh, that can come over here and help. So let's go ahead and have him do that. He's going to attack over that way, actually. Help that infantry division out. Uh, and then this guy's. It looks like they're actually taking care of it for us. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, I didn't realize that was playing. Let's go ahead and take this division and bring him over here to kind of help us out uh, with this uh, front here. Just bring him right here. And then try and wrap up around this way with the tanks, meeting up with them. Though by the time he gets here, we might actually be done with this. We'll move him over here any damn way. Let's go and attack these guys now. Uh, and then let's go ahead and select a new national focus. We got the reassort, reassert Eastern Claims. Uh, let's go ahead and do the Danziger War. Because I want Danzig, damn it. So 70 days until War with Poland, guys. I really thought we'd have War with Poland this episode, but yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be this episode because I've been going, like, stupidly slow. Like, really, really slow. And they refused our demand. Stubborn fools. Are they part of the, the focus? Or are they part of the faction? What the hell am I saying? They are. So we could just go ahead and declare war on them. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So we can have the war happen this episode. Uh, and then I don't think we need to do... Danzig or war because we yeah, will be at we'll already be at war and you know they're not going to I know that this does give us a core on Danzig though so it is important let me just take a look here and see hmm original country is Poland Poland is not in a civil war any other country yeah because I, I don't know if it'll bypass it and I'd like the core if we don't have one yeah I don't know that we have a core there yeah, they'll bypass it if we're at war with Poland, as expected. Would the bypass then give us the core? 
I don't know. I never know when bypass is actually gonna give you give you things or not. But yeah, we definitely want a core on this, which we don't have. We only have a claim. Uh, and cores are incredibly important because they give you that manpower. So yeah, I feel like uh, it might be worth it to, to complete the Danziger War just for the core. Uh, so this is gonna pull us into war with just these two as of right now, Lithuania and Poland, uh, Latvia, uh, Estonia, they're not in the faction as of right now. Uh, and we're also gonna have Romania uh, come in here uh, and I'm sure the Hungarians will probably put troops somewhere. Uh, and so yeah, they're gonna have to fight on this front as well. One thing I didn't think about guys is if we do this, if we declare war on them, then we won't be able to help out in he here over any anymore. And I feel like they'll lose without our assistance. Like that's the only thing that's going to uh, get a victory here. We're gonna have these guys take the damn railroads. So you know what guys, let's just wait a second. Let's try and complete that work because it's almost done. And we'll go ahead and move some troops over here. Uh, and that, that'll let, let us move them from the Czech borders well, because I don't really want to move them from other borders. So yeah, we're just gonna get, I think it's two fronts or two uh, provinces. Uh, no, three. Yeah, we'll have to have three provinces. I don't, I don't know if they can get across there. Maybe, yeah, they might be able to get across there. I'm not actually entirely sure. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll take a look here in a second, guys. Uh, let's just go ahead and I'm gonna keep them in the same army as well. Let's give them three divisions for right now. And yeah, that looks good. And then let's just build this front out. I wanna say it's gonna be needing a fourth division, which we'll just pull from over here, I suppose. So we're gonna get them going over there. And uh, we're gonna finish up this conflict over here first, guys. Or try to, try our best, or at least get them to a point where there's they're no way that they can fuck it up. Although, I don't know how you get them to that point, because they, they can fuck up anything. They're pretty good at it. Uh, these guys get there in five hours, so we'll cut them off as well. Of course they rejected our damn demands. Everybody's rejecting our demands, nobody takes us seriously. They're gonna learn today, guys. They're gonna learn today. All right, so the tanks have wiped them out, excellent. Let's go ahead and uh, grab this province here and we'll cut all these guys off here. Or attempt to anyways. And still waiting on that motorized division. Uh, this tank is going to have to come help out. This is getting kind of uh, unwieldy here a little bit. Uh, just too many divisions that we're trying to cut off. So getting a bit of assistance would be helpful. Uh, also, let's go ahead and have these guys wrap around here. So we can uh, cut that division off and destroy them and not have their... They're already cut off, but you know what I mean, guys. Uh, so we don't have to fight them all the way across. Let's go ahead and attack those guys. And let's go ahead and grab that province as well. And they're going to try and get out here. Let's go ahead and attack over this way so that we can we can deal with that. And then we'll have this division grab that province for us. All right, so these guys are now cut off. Let's go ahead and have them make sure that they can't reconnect it or that nobody can do it. And then we'll have them help out over here. Try and get this completed. Uh, we'll go ahead and destroy that division there. And... Yeah, looking pretty good. These guys are having some difficulty here. We're now in February. Let's go ahead and attack up this way. Make sure they can't leave. And then we'll grab that province. I don't know if we'll beat them or not. Uh, 16 hours, probably not. Nope. Okay, we'll let them leave and then we'll just attack across the river. We are winning right there. Excellent. Uh, where's that other division? Is that the division that took the railroads over there? I think that is. All right, so let's go ahead and have him grab that province and then we'll have him come, come uh, attack these guys here. All right, so he's got it. Oh, he's defending as well. All right, that'll work. So yeah, we're doing a lot here, guys, to help these help these guys out. So I really feel like we kind of have to uh, stay involved in it. What we can do is, I forgot, oops. Uh, we actually have, I don't remember who, uh, we have some generals or field marshals or whatever that uh, need to get upgrades. I don't remember which ones they are. So we're gonna have to go through all of them. All right, so Heinz Gadarian is one of them. Let's give him, could do the uh, Panzer Expert. Uh, armor Division Defense, or the uh, Combined Arms Expert. I, I typically like the Combined Arms Expert just because you use more motorized and mechanized divisions than you do, or battalions than you do uh, the armor ones. So, I mean, they make a bigger part of your, your division designs typically. So I like getting the Combined Arms one. I feel that one's more useful overall. Plus defense is, well, defense is is uh i find better on on any kind of infantry than it is on a on a, a motor arm um, on an armor division excuse me i can't talk today all right so we're gonna attack up this way they can't get out of here so it's fine uh these guys are coming to try and liberate them which we're actually going to take uh, advantage of that by getting behind them when they do that they won't be able to, to liberate them they won't have time though these guys might be able to yeah they could 
Yeah, that's a real possibility. Well, let's grab that province first, separate these two. Uh, actually, these guys can do that. When do they get there? 13 hours? One day and 11 hours? Okay, then what we'll do instead is just attack these guys then. Let them complete it. And then come over here. So wiping those guys out. Winning all across here. These guys are losing. We might actually need to give them a second recover. Uh, let them attack us, I suppose. Alright, so they're attacking us across rivers. So it's going to be higher casualties for them. So it's a good thing. Uh, looks like they were attempting to attack. That would have liberated them. Uh, but not going to happen now. And now they'll be easy to wipe out. You see they have no organization left. So there we go. Wiped them out. Too easy, guys. Uh, trying to get these guys wiped out now. Let's go ahead and push back over to here. I'm going to see if I can't cut these divisions off, too. Try and get Kansas City and Springfield as well. Let's let them push forward, and then we'll get behind them. We do have some free military factories, so let's go and get these assigned. Uh, and what do we want to put them towards? I guess we'll take a look at our equipment situation. See how we're doing. Uh, infantry equipment's okay. Artillery's all right. Support equipment's still lacking, as is the light self-propelled artillery. All right. Uh, so let me see what we're currently pumping our factories into right now. So that looks pretty good. Yeah, all this is is good to go right now. Let's just go and we're probably going to build some more divisions, actually. So let's just put them into planes. We'll leave all the, the factories where they're at right now. And then put put our current factories into, into planes here. Let's do a lot of fighters. We want to make sure that we can seize control of the skies. Uh, so we'll really start pumping into the fighters now. Uh, that does mean I need to take a look at my plane situation see yeah there's nothing really here uh, but make sure that none of our guys are training needlessly doesn't seem to be the case uh, though I think these guys are yeah we're gonna pull them back all right uh, so we finished that up uh, and we need to build more divisions uh, so let's go ahead and do that uh, we want to get we have the experience to make some adjustments, so we should probably do that now. Uh, we're about to go to war here, so you know what? I should go ahead and get those guys training as well. So let's make our final adjustments to any of the, the pussy pouncers and the, the tanks that we want to do. It looks like the tanks are squared away. Yeah, they're pretty much good. Uh, pussy pouncers could make some adjustments. We know that these guys need some adjustments as well. Uh, field hospitals particularly. Uh, is there anything else that we really, really need here? I feel like we haven't, yeah, we haven't given these guys any other stuff yet, like the light self-propelled artillery. Yeah, we just didn't have the experience for it. All right, so let's just go ahead and, and, and leave this as is then and save that for right now. And then let's finish up these guys uh, instead. And we will give them recon companies so they can move a little bit faster. And do we want to go ahead and do the last one, which is probably going to be support anti-tanks? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and save that. And that looks pretty good. Uh, that is going to require us to train all our divisions. We'll do that now, in fact. Let's go ahead and get... Hmm. I think all these guys are going to need to train, so let's just train the whole army. Let's get the whole army training. Uh, we're going to do that with probably all of our armies. Get a bunch of experience. Uh, and most importantly, just kind of get these guys uh, ready for the, the conflict, the up upcoming conflict here. So yeah, we're going to make everybody train. I know some of these would be trained needlessly. Now you're seeing the experience. Remember, we just made adjustments to them, so they're going to be uh, lacking experience. We'll train these guys as well, even though they're not going to be using them just yet. That's fine. Uh, and these guys can train too. I'm just trying to get them all trained up, I guess. And it's going to get us some nice experience. All right, so everybody's training up there. That looks pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and swing on back over to here. Oh, I never did build the units that I said I was going to build. Uh, so yeah, we'll get one more infantry here. Let's get... Uh, we don't have any SS building, so let's go ahead and build a couple more of those. And then I guess we'll get like one more mountain division too. Or we'll do two more, I suppose. All right. Uh, and then we're going to want to go ahead and get these guys set up to, to deploy. And let me see if I have... Nope, we're lacking just about everything. All right, so let's go ahead and get these guys all set up to deploy onto that training army. And... Then we'll swing back over to America, and that's how we're going to be wrapping up the episode, guys. Is I don't I don't think we're going to be uh, declaring war in Poland on this episode, guys. Unfortunately, uh, I will go ahead and assign the planes, though. Uh, we're going to get those guys trained, but I, I want to. I feel like we've got to finish this conflict here because uh, if we don't, I feel like the loyalists will win. Uh, it's 83. percent I really hope I don't have to go into California, man. That'll be a pain in the ass. Uh, at the very least, I didn't see how many casualties we've done to them. Uh, 162 to 163. So we're now just about evened it up. By the time we finish wrapping these guys up, it will be evened up. Uh, so we're getting it done. All right, so I actually want these guys to let's, uh, push forward here. So we're going to allow them to continue. Again, just trying to wrap them up 
uh, and make them, uh, you know, make them cut off so that we can destroy them. So let's go this way now. And then this tank can now finally move over here. And then this infantry here. Okay, first of all, let's attack that way and get that guy wrapped up. And then we're going to use this infantry over here for attacking these divisions once they're cut off. All right, looking pretty good. I feel like there's one division I'm not using. Yep, there he is right there. I thought there was. Uh, and, and the Americans are doing a good job taking all the, the victory points behind us. They're doing a pretty good job with that. So let's go ahead and have these guys come up over this way because I think, yeah, they're going to need some assistance here. Tanks are coming up behind them. Uh, and then these guys are going to come up behind them. And I think they have to go all the way over there to get them cut off. And then this guy will have to grab that province. Alright, looking pretty good. That's a lot a lot of divisions cut off again, guys. It's gonna attack over this way though. It doesn't really think I don't think they can do it until they, they've suffered a little bit. Uh, so this guy here let's have him attack there. And keep pushing forward, I don't care. Uh, though they are gonna get it where they can reconnect it, so let's go and help out with this tank, I suppose. Alright, uh, and then let's just let this division get over here. Uh, it's going to be a while, though. Yeah, because they're, they're cut off. Alright, let's have this division come help out here. Alright, so these guys have been wiped out. Excellent. Uh, so, let's go ahead and take that territory there now. And then we'll have this tank come up over here and grab that. Actually, let's have this guy do that. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and have this guy come on over here and start going towards Springfield, I suppose. And then this guy needs to... Oh, we're still waiting. Still waiting on him. All right. Um, I won't look at the, the guy's training. It's fine. It's fine, guys. I'm not too worried about it. If we waste a little bit of equipment. It's all right. All right. We're going to have this guy come over here so he can... Ah, oh, we'll go that way. He can wipe that guy out. All right. So they have cut these two off so they won't be able to retreat there. And then this guy here is going to go ahead and attack there now, since he doesn't need to go there anymore. Still waiting on this guy to get the hell out of here. It's about a day. Let's go and attack. I will support that attack for right now. Alright, and there we go. Let's grab the province up. And have these guys attack over this way. Alright, so let's go ahead and start pushing forward over this way now. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and grab... Well, I don't know if we'll be able to grab Springfield, but we can at the very least cut these guys off as they push forward here. Uh, yeah, they're starting to really take some territory down here. Uh, there's just no resistance against them right now. We do have military factories, or one military factory, excuse me. Let's go ahead and get it assigned. Uh, we're going to put it into, let me just take a look at what we're lacking the most now. Infantry equipment is really bad because of all that stuff I'm building. Uh, you know what? This is probably 10 factories towards military equipment. is probably fine, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's all right. What we really need is anti-tanks. Now that we made that adjustment to them. All right. Uh, so I think that those guys will be able to wrap that up eventually. Let's go ahead and start pushing forward over here. There's not a lot of victory points on this side. I really feel like we need to get another division down here to help out that tank division uh, cut troops off. All right, so we have... I know that I'm always not using certain divisions that I could be. Let's go ahead and have this guy come over this way. And then this guy... Yeah, it's going to come on over here as well. Let's try and get these guys here cut off and destroyed. All right, doing a lot of defense right now. Uh, that guy's wrapping that up. But yeah, we have cut off and destroyed quite a few divisions. It's gone quite well in that regard. All right, now we're having to attack them, but they took the railroads over here, so they're going to be an easy fight. Uh, but we would be an easy, easy fight to to get uh, cut off right now. Uh, these guys are defending. Uh, got decryption knocked out. Awesome. Uh, let's continue with 1939 text, but we're going to go with the infantry equipment since we do have to build those, so it does take some time. Let's go ahead and end the episode by taking a look at what troops still need to be trained. So a lot of these guys are done. Let me just take a look. Okay, it seems like the majority of them are done. They've got their manpower already. Okay, so what we'll have to do... I mean, but they're so close. Yeah, they're just so close to being done that I kind of don't want to stop them from training. I think we'll let it go. See, some of these... Yeah, alright. 
Fuck it, guys. I'll stop being lazy. You know, I can do that in between episodes, actually. I'll create a little separate training army to get the, the ones that are, you know, in these armies here uh, and uh, still need to be trained. And so we can pull the, the veteran ones will stay in their current armies and we'll pull out all the ones that need to be trained to put them in their own thing. Uh, and that can let them, you know, continue getting their planning bonuses and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, we actually need to give this army a planning bonus. I didn't realize that. We hadn't done that yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, give them one to go. Oops, my bad. Go after Warsaw. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to control this probably. So that's going to be it, guys. Uh, next episode will definitely be the War with Poland. Uh, we'll go to War with Poland first. Oh, and I, I completely forgot to show you guys this. I meant to show in the beginning of the episode, and I forgot. The French have created their own damn alliance. The French alliance with Yugoslavia. The United Kingdom, I, I don't know what happened, man. It's really weird. Uh, but yeah, they're not part of the Allies. So that means that we'll be able to attack them and not have to fight the British. And we'll be able to annex them and not have to fight the British. You know, yeah, it's just really weird what's going on with the factions, guys. Uh, though it looks like France might get defeated by Italy. Yeah, they're in a kind of, I'm surprised. I'm actually really surprised Italy's winning here, but they only have one front to fight on. Is it because they went communist? It might have been because they went communist. Yeah, I don't know what the hell happened there. Yeah, but, but anyways, uh, I'm, I'm surprised that the Italians aren't getting naval invasions by the British, uh, you know, because they lost Africa. And, and yeah, the, the British control the Mediterranean, so I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, how many ships do they have left? Is that why? No, they're, they've been sunk. Uh, they've been completely sunk. The French have lost a lot of their ships too. Ugh, the British fleet is looking nasty though. Uh, so that's going to be a real problem. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the end of the episode, guys. Next episode, we're going to finish up this war here. We're almost done. I mean, I just don't know if we're going to wait until they're completely capitulated because, God, that's only that's 84%. And, and there's a lot of victory points on the West Coast that we would have to take, which I am not interested in doing. I have no desire in, in taking those victory points. Yeah, and, and there's like no help from these guys here. They pretty much have done nothing. They lost all their divisions. Uh, and that that's why I'm not giving them any any equipment. Somebody had stated, oh, you should give them equipment. They're really adamant about it too. Like we need to give them equipment to help them out. Why? So they can waste it by getting cut off and destroyed? So they can waste it by attacking across rivers and stupid shit like that? No, I'd prefer to use it myself. Uh, and for divisions that I can actually do something with. So yeah, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna give them equipment. Uh, they don't need it. Uh, they'll be fine. They have most of the factories. Uh, I don't think they have the, oh, they do have more military factories now, now that we took over this territory. So they got more military factories, let them build their own shit. Uh, and I think they, they don't have the fleet, but they do have the dockyards. Uh, they also have the majority of the civilian factories. So even if we left it like this, I don't think that they would be able to win. Because not because they have all the, the factories and all, all the, the dockyards and all that good stuff, but they don't have any divisions. Look at the div division difference. Uh, it's it's only like 10 probably. So we don't actually have to win it. All we really need to do is cut off some more divisions and destroy them. And then I think if we did that, we'd put them in a position where they would win. Uh, so I think that's exactly what we're going to do. We won't comp finish the war because that would require us to probably conquer L.A., uh, and I have zero desire to do that, to go all the way over there uh, and conquer that. I know that this territory is kind of open or whatever, so maybe we can get there and do it. But I'd prefer not to, to have to do it. Uh, I mean, maybe maybe we could do it easily. We put a division right here and just kind of rode along this area and then grabbed it real quick, like a motorized division or something like that. I suppose that's an option. Uh, but I prefer not to do that. So what we definitely are going to do is cut off these troops here, as I was attempting to do before they attack that damn tank. Cut off any troops here. Uh, cut off... If we can, this is going to be a little bit harder to cut off here. Uh, but yeah, cut off any divisions here and attempt to uh, uh, get some of these guys destroyed uh, so that we can even odds a little bit. So when we do uh, start the war with Poland and leave this conflict, we'll put the, the loyalists in a position where they can't possibly lose, you would think anyways. Or at the very least, if, if, if the constitutionalists did start winning, uh, it would take them a long time to, to knock the loyalists out. And hopefully by then we'd have the Polish faction uh, destroyed by them. All right, so that is going to be the end of the episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. Hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.